what is holy relationship? A holy relationship is a symbol of being in relationship without regard for the past. So the point of holy relationship is to be fully present with no thoughts of the past intruding on the relationship. So it's very free-flowing, very open, free of expectations and limits, free of the egoic motive to get, and free of, therefore, free of reciprocity. And there's a sense of, of respect with holy relationship, a sense of trust. Holy relationship is a symbol that leads to full and open communication where nothing is hidden. And this is the most glorious experience because the ego made bodies and interpersonal relationships as a substitute for this total open communication. I call that communication communion, really, which is just a, like a, a telepathic awareness of, of love. It's more of the communion experience between Christ and, and God, the communion experience of spirit like a happy dance. And so holy relationship is, is a symbol of perception being used only to reflect the divine, the divinity of God's love. And it doesn't have the, the, the need and the lack uh, and the scarcity of all generated, projected, egoic relationships which don't lead to truth, they simply are a substitute for God's love. So what I still see, brothers and sisters and bodies, is, is my function to be transparent about the belief in those needs and lacks as, as I proceed. Practically, how do I allow the experience of holy relationship for myself. Yeah, the, the block to holy relationship is really keeping these attack thoughts or judgments or grievances hidden. And so the practice of forgiveness is really letting them come up and be exposed. Because it's only the hiding of these thoughts that that blocks the awareness of the, of the holiness. So that's a key component. And it's not like you try to see your brother or your sister without a body. The question is, arises, do I want to see him sinless? You know, do I want to see beyond error and experience the truth? Which is another way of calling upon Christ's vision saying, let, let your vision, spirit, let your vision take the place of the perception that I hold of my brother, which is just a presentation of the past appearing once again, as if it's still occurring. So it's very precious to, to meet anew without any kind of pre-conception of the past, which always brings a limit to the mind. <laughs>